Insurance Valuation Management for Strata and Commercial Buildings. This is part three in the series that we've been looking at the insurance valuation, how that can affect the body corporate or the owners and or the impact of being either over or under insured. So in the other other two series before we've looked at the sections under the insurance policy, what it might, should cover. The case study we did in the event of a fire which took over 26 months to finish, which people don't um, realise. And then from there, we're going through one of the, the insurance valuation reports on how that goes together. So we went through the other sections of the report. Yeah. Our elements and, and where these come together. So when we're looking at the replacement cost of the building, so we're saying, right, it's going to cost us $3.2 million just to build the building without anything else. Now, by the time you put in your documentation into um, council, you're calling tenders and your construction period, you're going to you lose a little bit of time sitting in here. Okay, so you're going to be up to, say, 12 months over this period just to look after the cost escalation so by the time this goes into council and stuff like that you're going to lose say five percent so it's an extra hundred and sixty thousand dollars for the cost escalation waiting for this section so then once we've got that that part done from there then you've got all your professional fees so you've got your council fees and your county surveyor and your engineering fees on top of that so that's an extra $338,000 on top of the original amount now from here we haven't even got to getting rid of the other debris or doing anything from here so this is just the paperwork process now if we're looking at the removal of, of debris now that's increased from 85 to 124, $120 a square metre for the removal of debris with the, um, the items from uh, t council tip fees. So to take the stuff away, it's going to cost you 290000 just to clear the site. So that brings that up to $4 million. So if we're talking about our removal of debris, the, from this site here, the debris was removed after four months and they used two excavators and a truck um, for a whole day to get rid of that so that's where that part comes in so you've got to make sure the site's all clean before we can go up to our next stage okay so we've covered removal of debris so now there's an allowance for extra cost escalation for from this period by the time we've got rid of our debris and find out if there's any variations in this period in here and of course there's GST that we need to allow for so from a bill price where we looked at before of 3.2 million dollars now that's gone up to 4.6 million dollars just by all those little items that, that add, up, add up and we've allowed for the loss of rent and emergency accommodation for um, two years which is 104 weeks also there's a site location map to see where the building is located so the insurer knows or the, um, the other managers know where that site is so they can work out where where that is and that's where uh, depending on the insurance type in the postcode of the area of the building okay so then there's a summary of the, the building with its structure so if it's got reconstructions that goes through the fencing the driveway and all the items that we need to look after in, in that building so that should give you an idea on how these costs here can really impact on the over either the over insure insurance or under insurance of a building we've had some buildings that have been 10 million dollars over insured it's, but even though it's been overinsured some people might think that the land's included but it's got nothing to do with the land so that should give you a better idea on how this goes together thank you